Okay, so now we're moving on to what is probably my favorite research skill of this workshop, and that is called citation linking or citation chaining. This is where once you've already found a paper that you really like and that's really relevant for your topic, you take a look at the references in the reference list and you link out from there to look at the different research studies that that person has cited. You can also do this in the opposite way where you can find a paper and then you can find out who else has cited it. What's really great about this strategy is that it will reveal to you papers that you may not have originally found in PsycInfo or in an open access journal or in Google Scholar. And it'll probably be extremely relevant to you because it was used in one of the studies that you also found really relevant. It's very possible that papers that you find through citation linking will be available in our library, even if you didn't find them in PsycInfo. As I said in the level one workshop, there's so many different databases in the library, and actually more of them than just PsycInfo include psychology content. So doing citation linking and then looking up the papers in our library is a great way for you to find them, even if you didn't find them originally. First, let's look at the cited by feature. So this is where we have a paper that we really like and we can use Google Scholar to see who else also liked this paper and cited it as part of their research. So here are my search results in Google Scholar. Let's just pretend that this paper right here um, is the one that I've been using and I, I really liked it. I thought it was really good. It was published in 2001 and I want to see who else has cited this paper because maybe their studies will be really relevant to my investigation as well. There's a link down at the bottom that says cited by 2212. And if I click on that link, I'm going to see all of the articles and books that have also cited that paper. And I really think that this is useful because some of these papers, again, I didn't find them through any other means. I didn't find them through PsycInfo, didn't find them through the open access journals. They didn't necessarily come up right away in Google Scholar but they could be totally useful to me and they, just like I did, thought that that article was really valuable. So that's the cited by feature. And um, another thing you could do here is instead of just doing it with a paper that you found um, through Google Scholar, what you could do is you could go back to your library search results. So here I've clicked back into, into PsycInfo. And let's say that I had read um, Let's say that I had read this one, Violent Video Game Effects on Salivary Cortisol, Arousal and Aggressive Thoughts in Children. If I uh, click on this and copy, oh, you know what, it's not gonna let me do it. So I'm gonna click on the title and then I'm gonna have to copy it from the next page. Oh, where did it go? Okay, let's try that again. Let's, um, let's pick a different one. I don't know why that didn't work. We're gonna pick this one, so we're gonna click on it and we're gonna take the title. Let's pretend that this one now is the one that I really liked and I read. Violent Video Games Increase Voice Stress, an Experimental Study. I'm in PsycInfo, I just have to copy the title and then I can go into Google Scholar and search for that specific paper. I just pasted it in there, I'm clicking search. And there it is. And you can see that there's cited by one. So this paper is from 2017. So maybe it was not a great one for me to pick because it hasn't been out for that long. So only one other paper has had the chance to cite it. But if I wanna see what paper that was or what book that was, I can just click on cited by one. And I can see that this study cited the one that I also cited.